It's made at home for lunch, eating a piece of beef jerky. I also broke my fast this morning and ate two little pieces of beef jerky. Two little strips because I was hungry. <laughs> Very hungry. I was 224 pounds this morning, which is crazy. And I felt hungry. So I had a couple pieces of beef jerky and went to work and uh, cleaned out an entire house. And I got just a little bit of time to eat before meeting the guy that work on our garage. I'm gonna finish us finish off this venison that we didn't put in the freezer. How much is this? 13.2 ounces. I think I'll make it into just a giant patty. Two notifications. Nailed it. Yeah, I met my steps a long time ago. 11,000 steps so far. Not bad, not bad. Do a giant smash burger. Focus on the meatball. I went to the store on my way home and bought this peak Himalayan salt. because there's no way I'm using iodine salt again. It's garbage. Let's get this pan warmed up. Decided, let's do a venison smash burger. And if it's horrible, I'll just make a, <laughs> a hamburger scramble, essentially. I pulled out this beef fat towel that I made and I greased the back of this spatula. Now let's turn the smoke. Let's go. So close. Yeah, I guess there's a difference between a smash burger and a smashed burger. I got a little bit of crustiness on it. And that makes my heart happy. That should make your heart happy too. I mean, I just snuck a bite. Hmm. Got to double check if it needs more salt. Yeah. I wish I could have you guys here trying this with me because it is the best venison burger I've ever had. Oh, look, I found a condiment to go with it. Piece of beef jerky. Homemade, just salt. Hmm. I was just at the store thinking, man, fish sounds good and some shrimp. But now that I got this food, yep, I'm happy. See you at dinner time. I'm gonna pan fry some truck steak tonight. There's light out, so I could probably go sear it outside, but I'm gonna pan fry it. 
and some tallow. This might be overkill, but I've been sous -ving these two chuck steaks for 36 hours. Threw them in there. Oh yeah. Feels like, it's very soft. Let's see what this weighs. is. 1.6. It was a big day today. Big day. Got a lot done. A lot to be proud of. Got my garage fixed. That was good. I actually fixed most of it myself yesterday. <laughs> they came in like, oh, you fixed all this? Yep. Yeah. It's like, all right. They were late, so I was like, I smell discount. Wish that's how that worked. Just to be curious, I wonder what this weighs without the bag and the and the meat juice. One pound, 0 0.1 ounces. Yeah. Try some of the salt. With the meat juice. Cheers. With all due respect, sir, that is disgusting. Yeah, probably. Tastes good though. Ah, it tastes like pot roast juice. There's nothing wrong with that. Hello. Thanks, babe. She brought me my phone. Okay, that's smoking hot. Oh, hey, dog. What? 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 You're a true carnivore. Shouldn't you only eat raw meat? Getting pretty crusty. Oh yeah. So to me, sometimes that amount of food looks like a lot of food. That's one pound of chuck steak. Right now I'm like, that's not a lot. <laughs> How I've been feeling, like getting hungry, like one pound. I don't know, I guarantee after I eat it, I won't be hungry the rest of the night. Oh, yeah, I might not even hungry when I wake up, but is that a lot of food to you? Let me know in the comments. 
All right, let's go into Crazy Town. What are you guys having tonight? Bozania. Bozania. With the right ingredients, so maybe I won't get an F plus this time. Yeah. Is that what the kids told you? F plus? One of them. The rest of them ate it and were great. So what what's in this? It's spaghetti squash, um, ground meat. What kind of meat? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, I think it's beef. Could I think. be. Um, could be venison, but I don't think it is. I think it's beef. Um, ricotta, some herbs, mozzarella. Herbs? Yeah. Green herbs? The green kind. Okay. Time together in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, okay. Our two-year-old has decided that she doesn't like to listen. She must be getting close to three. She was helping herself to snack, so she's probably not hungry. Mm. I'm almost close to eight. Oh, wow, this is good. What are your salts? Mm. I feel like I'm just mowing through this thing. It's so tender. That's good. But did you say it was? Chuck steak cooked for 36 hours. Nice. Yeah. I like it because it's like, it's kind of pot roasty, but not that so far that it just shreds. Mm -hmm. It still has the, you know, the structural integrity. Like it'll actually slice. Yeah, still slices. Still toothsome. Still makes, and it makes my heart happy. Well, it seems like today is going to be an easier, more, or today's a more simple day here at the Kilby Life. Day 17 of my carnivore diet, I mean lion diet. Super strict. I'm gonna take a bite of food so I can't talk. Martha Jones and I sip of this. Uh, I knew you were gonna do that. Mm. <laughs> Let's see where we're at. Yeah. It seems that my daughter sent someone at work a message of all C's. <laughs> Could be worse. <laughs> well, what? Rachel, she had my phone. So we're sitting at 4,375. Yeah. Yeah. Thank I got you a, for your encouragement, Faith. Yeah, thank you. I got a lot of messages I need to get to. I keep saying that every day, but when I'm filming and then editing until bedtime to upload it. It's getting kind of hard to do it, but I've read most of them, I believe, and lots of encouragement and just a lot of, um, I got a very thankful heart, a very thankful heart. I got some questions I need to answer for sure, but thank you for watching these Kill Me Live videos and this Lion Diet Challenge, day 17. More than halfway. More than halfway to uh, eating a shrimp. <laughs> I don't know. You'll never know what I'll feel like eating then. Right? I'm not eating a waffle. I'll eat a waffle, egg waffle. All right, he'll be out. See you tomorrow. Let's down, okay? You're all right. <laughs>